Okay, let's talk about lights in <coughs> Twin Motion. Here, the library it's light. We have a lots of light that I will explain them one by one with settings. First <coughs> is the omnidirectional light. If you click and drag it, you can see it's just a, a sphere light that has an area. You can see this is an area of light. It's lighting the scene. <coughs> Very easy. This is an area that light affect environment. Let's go to its settings. First, you can enable or disable it. Intensity of that, how much power do you want to see? Attenuation, uh, you can control this spherical area of lighting. Now you can see it's <clears throat> a light, much area. Now you can change the color of that. It's very simple. Now you can change the color temperature, more cooler or warmer. Let's dive in shadows. You can enable shadows. Now you can see we have a shadow. Volumetric shadow and haze. I will be explaining it later in spotlight. Selenius. Yeah, this is an IS light. And da dusk to down, it means if you go to the, um, for example, if uh, go to the daylight, it will be turned off. And if you go to the night again, it will be turned on. <clears throat> it's automatically detect the day cycle and turn on or off. Nice. Okay, going to the spotlight, it's like a coin, you can see, it's, it's like a coin, and you can rotate it in any angle that you want, nice. It has the same setting, intensity, attenuation, and here you can change the, this coin angle. Now, you can see you can change the coin angle. All of its settings in, this, uh, in a <clears throat> the same. Let's talk about the um, sitting on haze and other shadow. Okay, I create a spotlight here. Now you can see it's going through the, it's going through the door and I rotate it to light it in this direction. I enable the shadow and then enable the haze. It's created dust and fog in front of the light, okay? In a haze, you can change intensity of that, a speed of the <clears throat> moving of haze and the tiling of that. You can see, you can see more tiling and more isolate area or more uniform haze. <clears throat> now, when you turn on the haze, you can see the effect of the volumetric shadows. Volumetric shadows means, uh, uh, you can see in this, it does not, uh, the haze does not calculate this door. If you activate volumetric, it calculates the door and it does not through uh, door volumetric. Now you can see just it's through uh, in this small area. It detected the uh, volume object around. You can see? Now it detected this door area. Okay, this is all about the spotlight. And the other sitting, just the coin angle and... Yeah, reflections means uh, the, um, how be reflective in a reflection object. You can see it's a bit, bit, if you turn it to the zero, it does not affect, you cannot see the light in a reflective object. It's all about reflection. Nice. It has sitting in all lights. Another light is neon light. It's a line 
light. You can see it's uh, actually like a line. And it's just changing shape, intensity, length. Here you can change the length of that. Color, the shadow, just enable and disable it. Selenius reflection. It has no, no more sitting. And area light is very important. It's lighting area. <clears throat> area light. Now you can see it's lighting an area. Interesting. The area light, we have the length, changing the length and the width, attenuation, the area that light will be turned on, uh, will be affected. The color, shadow is the same, volumetric, selenius, reflection. The age of the angle, you can change the angle, you can see here it's affected more. The age of the angle of the light. Imagine we have an angle from this uh, edge to the infinity and it's open or close this angle. Okay, more angle. That's it. Another light is um, all of the other light are R I E S. The I E S light are for making your scene beautiful, so architectural light. You can see them here. Simply you can click and drag it on the scene. And these are all our IES light. Here in IES, you can open the folder of IES light. If you want, you can insert your IES light from your computer here. The, all of the settings are the same. Nice, nice and easy. The lighting system in Twin Motion is very easy. You can import your IS light from your computer here. Okay, the IS light, don't forget, you can, these are like a sp uh, spotlight and you can rotate them to change. You can enable the shadow. or activate haze also for them. Less intensity, more tile. Yeah, you can create an interesting. From here, you can turn on or off your light. Very easy. If you want to see a light, always you can go to the filter and just turn on the lights. Just only you can see the lights. Okay, and finish. I think I we have an another area light. No, no, no. Sorry, it's uh, is light. Another is light. Okay.